What's up, guys? So we're here again at Hayward Field, and I'm here with Matt, who is the senior director of the Nike Sports Research Lab, and talks, works all in the running department, knows everything about running. And obviously, the big shoe is the Zoom Pegasus 32. So Zoom seems to be a big part of the Zoom, of the running line for Nike. How does the science of running and Zoom, how do those two worlds interact? So I think what's important for us is Zoom is one of our cushioning platforms, and you know first and foremost it, it's a it's a resilient platform. Um, it, return, it returns energy more so than some of our other foams, and it provides an experience that's very unique. It's a different experience than some of our foams, and a different experience than some of our other air offerings or air sole offerings. Um, so from an experiential standpoint, it provides that that fast sort of responsive feeling. Um, in terms of how it works for runners, we specifically look at the demands of different types of runners. So as you see on different shoes, the zoom bags might be placed in different areas, whether it's more focused on the forefoot or the heel, uh, and in combination with other technologies around it, so that we can optimize the underfoot cushioning, both from an experiential standpoint, but also from a performance and a protection standpoint for different runners. So a lot of your job is understanding the mechanics of running and, and how like foot stride and, and, and how impacts and all of that. How, how much of that data goes into a shoe like this? Yeah, I, I think on any given year, everything we have, we pour our hearts and souls and minds into, into each of the products. I think what, what's important to remember too is because we have 35 years of studying runners, it's the culmination of everything we know. And sometimes you reach a point, you know, maybe 15 years ago, where what we thought we know has either evolved or changed. Just as, as times change and as, as we learn more and both from a, a, is there new tools, is there new methods, are there just new thoughts and insights that we gather, but it's the culmination of 35 years of, of everything we know into making the best product that, that we can. So we're, we're constantly looking at it. Obviously we look at the Pegasus every single year. Um, we want to make sure it's the best offering we can, but over time it's, it's the knowledge continues to grow and, and fuel our, our innovation. Earlier you made a mention of energy return. Can you talk a little about like what what does that mean in terms of a long distance runner versus a, a sprinter, or is is there a difference between the two? Absolutely, I, I think as you look at different runners, um, there's a couple things that can be different. Um, obviously, foot strike pattern is, is one that people um, relate to or talk about. So whether you land on your forefoot or whether you land on your heel, obviously if you have a system under the heel that um, compresses and, and releases some kind of energy, but you never land on your heel, it's it's not going to do you any good. Um, there's also the speed that you run at. Um, as, as the faster you go, the more force you put in the ground, and therefore the kinds of cushioning systems you need underfoot can be different. So for faster runs, people gravitate or, or they prefer certain types of shoes over if you're doing a longer, softer run. And generally that, that typically means you're, you're running slower, so the, the demands are different. So there's a speed component, there's a foot strike component, um, and then there's sort of the basic mechanics of running and how do cushioning systems affect you as a, as a person. Um, you know, without getting too deep into the technical side, if, if you imagine a spring, a spring has to compress to return to store energy, it has to return, but it has to return at the right timing and frequency to give that energy back. If you imagine you're on a swing and if somebody goes to push you but you're not all the way back, then you're returning energy at the wrong time, you're going to get knocked off. And if it's too late, it also doesn't benefit you. So we look at all of these things to try and optimize not only sort of just cushioning that you might think of in a, in a vertical sense, um, but sort of the, the whole transition, if you're a rear foot runner, for example, from heel strike as you come down on the lateral side of the shoe, as you transition to the medial side, and then as you propel off. And each one of those things um, affects that, that feeling of what runners call ride. You know, it's that how, what's the ride or transition. All of those things are critically important. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Matt, Senior Director of Nike Sports Research Lab for running. I'm Jacques Slade. We're at Hayward Field, and I'm going to feel the magic at some point today. All right, guys, we'll see you soon.